people lying in the street and living in them tents. She said, I ain't coming back here. I ain't coming back here. I said, Pastor, they need you now. She said, no, this is your lane. I can't do this. <laughs> but glory be to God. This woman got up and started praying those tamarines, and I just was looking at the people in the audience on the man's side. First the man's side. We did a man, the, man, the man's side. All of a sudden, the men started coming in from the outside, coming to look at her. And then the men that was walking stopped and started looking. It was something about those tamarines right. that, that mesmerized them. And so I told her, I said, you know what? You was a blessing to those people down there. I said, the people in the church, yeah, they, they like your blessing. But I said, those homeless people out there need you more. Mm -hmm. And then she went to the women's side. Oh, the women loved her. Oh, glory, hallelujah. What an awesome. So now she just loved going down there. Praise the Lord. In the name of Jesus. Come on up. <laughs> Come and bless us. <laughs> See, you never know what lane God will put you in. Sometimes you'll say, oh, that ain't my lane. You know, I'm not getting on the prayer line. The next thing you know, you're on the prayer line, you praying, you're doing everything. So you never know where God is going to take you. That's why they always say, do not lean onto your own understanding. Let God use you. Let God use you. Okay. Praise God. Let God, let go of God. That's right. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> all right. <laughs> Praise God. We all right. <laughs> <laughs> the joy of the Lord is our strength. Oh, yes. Yes. That's for sure. yes. Let us go to Samuel. And uh, the time that's allowed to me. We're going to start from Samuel and we're going to run the revelation. First Samuel. Okay, take your first we're going to go to First Samuel. Amen. Uh, first Samuel chapter 16. First Samuel chapter 16. And we're going to go to verse. Uh, we're going to start at 9. Hmm. You know what? I can't really see up here, but um, left my little flashlight. So, you want someone to read it? Uh, I want to read it. I think I got it. I'm gonna lift it okay, First Samuel chapter sixteen, and we're gonna go to verse. We're gonna start at verse nine. Next, Jesse. Uh, I'm sorry, not nine. Let's just drop down to uh, ten. In the same way, all seven of Jesse's sons were presented to him, had not chosen any of these. Then Samuel said, Ask, are there all, is this all your sons you have? There is still the youngest. Jesse replied, but he is out in the fields watching the sheep. Send for him at once, Samuel said. We will not sit down to eat until he arrives. So Jesse sent him for him. He was rugged, handsome, with pleasant eyes. And the Lord said, this is the one. Anoint him. Ah, so David stood there among his brothers. Samuel took the olive oil and anointed him, poured oil all over his head. And the Spirit of the Lord came mightily upon him from that day on. Uh -huh. Samuel returned. I'm going to stop right there. I'm going to fast forward on this. I want to just talk about a king that praises the king. King David, he is anointed. Why the anointing? The anointing always have a purpose. Yeah. The purpose for that anointing was for him to become king. Mm -hmm. But at the same time, if you know just a little bit about Israel, they had a king mm -hmm. 
But he was very disobedient and God said, I reject you now. And he told the prophet Samuel, he said, stop praying for King Saul. I have rejected him. And so God is saying, I must find a man. I must find a king that will obey me, that will trust me and obey me. So God sends him to the house of Jesse. We cannot look at the outer statue, God told the prophet. Mm -hmm. He said, we've had these men that's a built cut and look like they're ready for battling <laughs> at any time. But I'm, he said, don't look on the outer appearance, yeah. but look on the inner. And yeah. the word said, man look on the outer, and we judge you what's on the out, what we see. Because we don't have the eyes to look within a heart of any person. Amen. But Jesus does. Yes, does. And so God is saying that through him, he says, don't look at his statue, but I'm looking at his heart. He's a king that I can trust and a king that will praise me. As it goes on, as it goes on, as it goes on we're going to praise God in a minute. I may not get through this message, but we're going to praise God in a minute. Yeah. When we came in, we start praising him. Yeah. When we came in, we start thanking him. Yeah. So God is looking for a people that will yeah. thank him and yeah. praise him. Yeah. The enemy has slithered in today, and he has snuffed out the praise, the true yeah. anointed yeah. praise. Yeah. Because when you praise God, yeah. the prophetic realm is supposed to always open. When you praise God, people are supposed to be healed and set free, yeah. running to the altar without you giving the altar call. Yeah. People are supposed to be convicted. Lovingly, but never condemned. Yeah. As I run on with this, the message is not going the way I planned it to go. It but go. it's all right. It's all right. right. But I'm going to get us to Revelation. Yeah. I'm going to talk to you about King David because King David was a shepherd. Ah, but who else do we know that was a shepherd? Jesus. Was it not our beloved Savior, yeah. Jesus? He's a good shepherd. Yeah. He yeah. shepherded our lives today. Yeah. David was out and watched over. I'm going to just put this aside. He up. just went ahead. And he just went back to the sheep. He went back out there because he had a relationship with God. Uh -huh. If you're going to make it in this life today, if you're going to make it, you're going to have to have a relationship with God. Yes. You're going to have to learn how to worship your God. Yes. You've got to learn how to praise him and worship him if nobody else. You can't allow nobody and nothing to ever take your praise. Yes. Take your praise, you take your life. Take uh, your praise, you yes. take your hope. Take yes. your praise and you don't know how to exalt Jesus. Take your praise and you will die. But the enemy knows. He knows it well how praise is effective and the power that's in praise because he once held a position in heaven. But he too was disobedient. Yeah. He too wanted to take over. And God said, there's only one lamb up here. There's only one son that's up here that sits beside me. And he is the only one. But you will not stay here. God told us, Michael and the other angels, take care of it. Jesus said, I saw hell. I saw Satan fall from heaven like lightning. A very quick battle. The quickest battle that is ever known was fall like lightning. A lightning. This is it. That's over. That's, that was the battle. Amen. Because he wanted to sit above God. And God says in his word, I will share my praise with no one. Because I'm God. I'm merciful. I deserve all praise, all glory, and all honor. And we need to give it up. And we don't always give it up. We may not have a piano. We may not have an organ. We may not have instruments. But God made us fearfully and wonderfully. We are instruments. Our voices have vocal cords. David played the lyre. He played the 
shall supply all of your needs according to his riches and glory in Christ Jesus. Everything you need is in him. And I remind you again, on the cross nailed, what does that cross represent? It's our banner. Lift up that cross. Jesus said, if I be lifted up, I'll draw all men, I'll draw the nations to me. Without Christ, you're nothing. Without Christ, you won't live. Without Christ, you are nothing. You have no life. You have no hope. You have no anointing. You have no ministry. You have nothing. But with him and in him and through him, we have all. We have victory today. We have victory today. When you release that grace, Satan hears it and it releases confusion in the enemy's camp. And he can't handle it because it reminds him of where he used to be. And it reminds him where he's going. Because the praises of God will tell the angels, uh, get ready on command, move on the behalf of my people. Because when they praise me, they praise me with an anointing. There's an anointing to praise God. David received the anointing. Yes. When the olive oil was poured upon David, yes. that's a clue. He said, olive oil, who else is going to be needing that olive oil? Jesus in the garden of Gethsemane, wow. being crushed. For us, because that's the only way you can receive the oil from the olive oil is to be crushed. Jesus gave up his will and received the Father's will. So he already died before he got the average cross. He had to die in Gethsemane, had to die, will had to die. What is your will, Father? Whatever your will is, I will do it. What is worship? Whatever God wants, I'll do it. What is worship? I come out my shoes, wear my best clothes, but I know how to lay before God. Yes. Prostrate in the name of Jesus and allow whatever's coming to pass over. Oh, but let me come on back like that book. We, today we took communion. We see from communion. We remember what it is. But I tell you today, get that free in the blood of Jesus. Wipe it over the doorpost of your house. Wipe it over the doorpost of your mind. Wipe it over the doorpost of your heart. I tell you today, when the enemy comes, he'll pass over you because he knows he can't touch you. He can't take you out because you belong to Jesus. And what did the word of God tell us? Know ye not that your body is the temple of the Holy Ghost. Yes. Yes. What lives inside of us is eternal life. Yes. We have it now. In the name of Jesus, yes. we have victory. But do you really believe that? So when you see today, whatever song you sing, think about what you're seeing. Think about the message. Do you really believe it? If you do, and you believe. My mother used to sing one of David's songs. I was glad when they said unto me, Oh, let us go into the house of the Lord. I came running when they said unto me, Oh, let us go into the house of the Lord. I wonder what would happen to us if we came with a mind to praise God. I wonder if we came to God's house to give him the glory and to give him the honor. And then even though we don't have the instruments, yes. glory to God. You got hand claps. Yes. You got to dance. Yes. You may not have music, but yes. the music is always going on the inside. Yes. Because God's got a people with a pure heart. They know how to praise him. Satan, you're defeated. You yes. belong under my feet. Yes. And when we begin to praise God, as we look unto David, David was anointed for praise. Yes. The word of the Lord said the moment he received that anointing. He, the Holy Spirit came upon him mightily. Everything he did. Everything, every time he came for a fight. David brought light in the prophetic ministry of us to open up. Here's how David heard. In Psalms 110, David heard that he said to him, Lord, my Lord, sit here until I make your enemies your footstool. What, what does it tell me? That victory and praise. When David was praising the Lord, the prophetic realm opened up. He heard God talk to his son. He said, yes, but sit here until I make your enemies your footstool. So where do your enemies belong? He belongs under my foot. He He belongs right under there. And I remember how they used to dance. They would tap out as they were dancing. They be dancing. 
say, oh, God, you're going to work it out. You're going to work it out. Thank you, Lord. Thank you for healing me. Thank you for what you're doing right now. They will dance and they will prophesy. We don't do that today. Well, no, nothing about that. They would clap their hands. Everybody was clapping their hands. We don't do that today. We don't do it today. Mm-hmm. Satan has slivered up in here and he's just taking the praise. Yes. Yes. Just taking the praise. We, we think we got to have everything, but I got news for you. Yeah, he overcame him by the blood of the Lamb. Yeah. You got a testimony that's powerful. Yes. You got a God that's no joke. Yes. He's not to be played with. Yes. He doesn't play with Satan. Yes. But we do. We allow things to come in and anything to snap out the praise. Yes. But not David. When Saul was after him, David was on the run, fugitive, running, him and his family. But the Lord never allowed him to be caught. Why? Because the Lord is my shepherd. Every time that Saul thought he had him, the Lord was always a step ahead of him. Somebody always brought him a word. He said, oh, but Saul is coming after you this way. David would go the other way. He never caught him. But here's David, a man after God's own heart. How is he like a God? Uh, his heart like God? Mercy. God is merciful. Yes. David was merciful to King Saul. He could have took his life twice, but he didn't Amen. do it. He said, when I touch God's anointing, it's yes. not for me to touch him. Yes. God knows how to deal with our enemies. Yes. When will we trust yes. him? When will we trust him and obey him? Yes. But I thank you today as I run on. I do want to end with this as we get into Revelation. Right here. Here's the connection. My God, my God, thank you, Lord Jesus. I thank you today. As the word says, David is found. He said he is a high priest. David is a high priest. How do we know that? When David's uh, family and everyone had got stolen away, David and his men wanted to take out his life. David said, he, the word of the Lord says he strengthened himself yeah. in the Lord. Yeah. You're going to have to go back and get you one of them praise songs. Yeah. Because every time you praise God, God's ear drops down to hear. What you see? He said, what do you need? What do you need? What's happening? Yeah. And so he said, bring me the ephah. What is the ephah? The high priest roll the ephah. In the ephah, they would wear to hear from God on special occasions. Uh, if anything going on, David was in trouble. He said, bring the ephah. He brought the ephah. He began to talk to God. God said to him, he said, should I pursue? God said, pursue and recover all. David raised up, put off the ephah, got up and went forward. Yeah. Is that my time? Okay. Uh, well, anyway, I'm going to close out. In the name of Jesus.